Today, it's all about what happens after the show. We never know what we're going to get asked or what to expect, as was the case with our own executive producer, Patty. We surprised her in the last segment because we knew she was having issues with burning and dry eyes. We called in our friend and colleague, Dr. Caria Seal, to give her a much needed eye exam. And the reason they asked me to join you today is that you're having some difficulty with your contact lenses. Yeah, f f this week, for some reason, I put them in and then they just start burning. I literally had to take them out and wear my glasses all week. Are you having a lot of itchy eyes? Are you rubbing your eyes a lot? Itchy, tired, burning eyes. Like, my okay. eyes are always burning. So itchiness most typically suggests uh, allergy. Mm -hmm. Allergy could be something in the environment or it could be to the contacts themselves. Mm -hmm. And the fact that uh, when you take them out for a few days, do they start to feel a little better? Yeah, I mean, this instantly when I take them out at night, they feel better. Okay, based on what you're describing, it's either a resistance to the contacts themselves, allergy, and also the burning suggests dry eye. These tend to go hand in hand. Eyes that are dry mm -hmm. develop allergies more easily and become intolerant to contacts more easily. We blink three million times a year. So when you have a little bit of a dryness to the surface, the contact lenses, the eyelid rubbing over the contact will make the eye become more and more progressively dry to the point where you can get little blisters underneath the surface of your lids uh, that make it very uncomfortable to wear um, contacts. If you don't mind, let's get sure. a look at your eyes and, and, and see if you can... We are going through a little dry spell now. The Santa Ana winds have kicked up. Absolutely. It's a little, it's a little drier, it's a little windier. And Absolutely. People often are surprised mm -hmm. that they've worn contact lenses comfortably for many, many years, oh. and why are they now suddenly having problems? Uh, some people can't ever tolerate contacts. Others can go with them for 50 years before the types of problems that I'm describing start to kick in. Medications can affect it too. Fortunately, with all those medications, once you stop the medicine, the uh, um, dryness goes away. Look up high. I'm gonna squeeze on your eyelids. And I know you have the contacts in, so I'm pulling your eyelid out of the way when I do that. I'm squeezing on your eyelids to see what kind of oil they're producing. Because mm -hmm. I'm already getting a good idea of what's going on. She's a little injected, isn't she? A little bit, but more important than that, look up high. More important than that, what I'm finding is her oil glands aren't producing real You're wonderful oil. You're not getting oil. much out of there at all, yeah. are you? So, Ooh, what does that mean? so you have a few oh. things going on. Ooh. One is that the contact lenses are indeed irritating your eye because the surface doesn't have great lubrication, because you have mild allergy and dry eye. Tears are made of three components, mucin or mucus, water, and oil. Mm -hmm. When there isn't enough oil in the tears, the water evaporates 20 times faster. Mm -hmm. I was just squeezing on your oil glands. The largest oil glands in the body are in the eyelids. Mm -hmm. Every time we blink, a tiny packet of oil gets liberated into the tear film. When you blink, you're not getting too much oil liberated because the oil is stuck in your, in your glands. And as the day goes on, you find yourself blinking more and more. The eyes are getting dry. They start to burn. The contact lens becomes firm against the eye. Mm -hmm. At night, when you go to take it off, you kind of feel resistance to trying to it's pull it to the side. Like it's stuck to my eye. Yeah, absolutely. So, so what, what, what are the solutions here? Little things you can do in the short term are preservative-free preservative artificial tears decreasing the amount of time you wear the contacts is probably the single most important thing you do. Right. Yeah, because otherwise, the little blisters that you're forming underneath the surface of the eyelid are gonna become like cobblestones eventually. They become like little rocks, and, they don't, they, and then they become scars, and then you have issues you know, uh, more permanently. It's terrible. Uh, we'll first treat you with various medications designed to get the oil production going better. There'll be uh, some eye drops or even pills that I may put you on and so forth. Ultimately, you'll come to a point where the decision will be whether to keep wearing contacts, which will be a tough one, versus going to LASIK yeah. or glasses. Yeah, I'm just so scared of LASIK, but... In your circumstance, LASIK is about 50 times safer than contact lenses. Once somebody gets to a point where they're having symptoms from their contacts, right. the risk of something bad happening from contacts becomes 50 times greater, as long as the LASIK is properly performed, right. of course. Um, so I wouldn't rule that one out for you either. When we examine you, therefore, I'll do a little bit of preliminary screening for you to see your LASIK candidacy also, awesome. so that what, by the time we're done with that exam, you have kind of not only some treatments in hand that you're going to go off and use, but you know your future options as well.